Hello everyone, it's Empire333 here. I have a channeled message for a lot of you that are watching. A lot of you are waiting for an apology, okay? And some of you are waiting for an apology from somebody who's romantic. Some of you are waiting for an apology from someone who is um, connected to you by family, blood, friend, whoever, okay? Somebody um, waiting for an apology last you know, for a long time, some of you, several months, some of you, several years, you think that that apology, you know, is going to change something positively in your life. And I'm here to tell you that most of the time, apologies do not have value, okay? What tends to happen is that we hold on to waiting for an apology and that becomes an attachment, okay? Okay. And the more we hold on to it, the more it affects us negatively in our lives and for us to move forward, okay? Some of you probably believe like if the person comes and apologizes to you that all of a sudden there's going to be like this quick healing and you're going to feel better and you're going to move on with your life or whatever, okay? And Spirit is saying here that you are not going to heal because of someone's apology. You're making those two words, I am sorry, three words, I'm, some, you could say it that way too, I'm sorry, the most powerful words, and they do not hold value. Most of the time, apologies do not hold value, okay? And no one can heal you but yourself. So if you're working on healing yourself, regardless of an apology that you've been waiting for, okay, Go for it. Spirit is with you, okay? Um, and this will help you to not be stuck in the past because if you're waiting for an apology, that means that you're stuck in the pain of the past, okay? And um, you're still lingering in the past and it's like you're not growing, okay? You're not evolving. You're not growing and you're going to feel stuck, okay? Okay? And spirit wants you to move forward freely, okay? So release that attachment. And I know that it's not easy to move out of the past, but a lot of you are still lingering in the past because you're expecting something from someone. And most of, for a lot of you, it's an apology, okay? And um, another thing that some of you think is going to happen is like if somebody comes and apologizes to you, it's like, okay, you know... Um, whether you know this or not, right? Some of us, we have like desires that we know consciously and some of us, we don't know, okay? So um, some of you think that, you know, the, if the person comes and apologizes to you that you're um, like, they're gonna stop doing whatever they were doing before, right? Whatever the pain they caused you, like if they lied to you, if they betrayed you, if they cheated on you, if they stealed from you, okay? They disrespected you. They shamed you. Um, they insulted you. They degraded you, okay? The list goes on and on, okay? There's a million things that people want apologies for, okay? Whatever it is that you want to apologize for, whatever type of behavior or act that they committed to you, okay? Maybe they gaslighted you, whatever it is, right? Some of you think that if this person just apologizes to you, gives you those three words, those two words, I am sorry, that it's it's like they're going to stop doing what they're doing, okay? But some of you have to realize that those people are not going to change, okay? Some people will not change. So... Most apologies are given um, when someone, okay, this is why people apologize, okay, I'll tell you why people apologize and why I just said why people won't apologize, right, because people don't change, some people know the way they are, they're stuck in their, their, you know, belief patterns, they're stuck in their personality traits, okay, they think they're fine, um, they don't see anything wrong, it's most of the time is because they don't work on themselves, right, we can all get better, right? We can all, we all have room to grow and be better humans, right? But this is when, this is when um, some people do apologize, okay? There, there's always, you know, some people 
they will apologize, okay? But let me tell you what the intention behind that is, okay? Some people will apologize because they want the conflict between you and them to stop, okay? They don't want any drama. They don't want a cold shoulder from you. They want you to talk to them. They want the same attention you gave them before they behaved that way, okay? So if you can think of a time with you and the person that's on your mind right now, okay, when you gave them great attention, you gave them love, you cared about them, you were kind to them, you were nice to them until they behaved those certain ways that I mentioned earlier, right? So some of them just want you back. They want you in their life. They want the conflict to stop. They want your attention, the attention you gave them before. Some of them don't like the distance between you two. They have this attachment to you, right? They're like codependent, like, no, I need you in my life. I need this person in my life. Let me just apologize and let's get this over with, right? So um, they want to be back in your good graces, in your good graces, right? Usually apologies are whoever is giving the apology, if you do get one, right? It's about them. It's not about you. And when you receive apology, it feels good at the moment, right? It feels good. It feels like, oh my God, this person cares. This person realizes that whatever they did was wrong or they realized how much they hurt me and so forth. But most apologies are BS, okay? Most apologies don't have value. The intention behind it uh, is not to... Uh, mend things okay I think there's a difference between apologizing and uh, just for the sake of being on you know good terms with someone and there's also you know apologies that have some sort of mending approach to them okay so there is an exception to this rule so don't do yourself a favor do not attach yourself to apology, waiting for an apology from someone. I am sorry, whatever, this and that. Don't wait for that, okay? You might get an apology, but it's still, those are the reasons I mentioned are because of that. Most of the time, people do not apologize so that they will change their behavior, okay? And make the connection grow, whatever type of connection it is, right? And um, yeah, we'll go through that in the next video, you all. I just want to let you know, please don't wait for an apology for someone. It becomes a healthy, un like a unhealthy attachment, okay? It becomes an unhealthy attachment, it becomes toxic because you build your whole life and your future, your present and your future, Um revolving waiting for that apology okay and I'll get into the next time when apologies have value okay um, I hope you like this video um, and you resonated with it I hope this helps you in some way and I wish you all the best peace out